And I know there's some of you out there, you never heard of this. What is a collective consciousness? It is all of us thinking the same thought, which then becomes powerful. It's the power of prayer. That's what prayer is. And I'm not preaching to you, and I'm not talking religion. I'm talking fact. This is the truth. This is one of the ultimate truths that's been withheld from us. A thought, a pure thought, if enough people think it will manifest itself as reality. And when it manifests, it grows. And as it grows, it will take on a three-dimensional quality. And that's why the pyramid is the building block of the universe. That's why Father, Son, Holy Ghost. That's why the number three is so important. That's why in one there is always three. Did you really believe that for the last 45, 50 years that all the Russians were sitting around their kitchen tables plotting ways to do away with us? Did you really believe that? How many of you think that that was happening? Good. Most Americans did, I think. They thought that every Russian wanted to come over here and wage war on us and bomb us off the planet. It's not true, folks. Those people sitting around their kitchen table were worried about where they were going to get their next ruble and how they were going to feed their kids for the next month and whether or not they were going to get a promotion at the plant just like all of you were doing for the last 40, 45 years. It's the leaders that manipulate us into these things for reasons that never become apparent to us unless we start digging, and it usually boils down to money. Money. It only happens because we let it happen. We only let it happen because we really are stupid and we really don't use our intellect. And that's why I said earlier that you must be able to stand in front of your mirror and admit it to yourself. And only then, once you've admitted that that problem exists, can you begin to correct it. The test of a document, such as the Protocols of Scion, as I have published in my book absolutely accurately, I did not change one word, were written in the 1700s, folks. And the test of the authenticity of a document is not whose name is signed on the bottom, it's whether or not the plan in the document is carried out. And the plan in that document has been carried out to the letter since the 1700s, and the only thing that has not come to pass as of this day that's outlined in that document is they have not yet placed a descendant of the house of David who can say that he's related to Jesus Christ on the throne of the world. And when they do, he will not be the enemy. He will be the figurehead of the real shadow power that lies behind the throne, just like right now today. How many of you believe that Ronald Reagan was really running this country? How many of you thought it was Nancy? <laughs> if you guessed Nancy, you were closer to the truth than if you guessed Ronald, because Nancy is the granddaughter of John W. Davis, the founding president of the Council on Foreign Relations. It was when he married Nancy that he went from a liberal Democrat to a conservative Republican and became a serious political contender. And you're going to find that once you have this knowledge, it becomes a burden because now you're responsible to do something about it. And if you don't, your life's going to go to shit just like mine did. And you're not going to be able to live with yourself until you begin to do what you're supposed to do. And that's become responsible. It is to live and walk in a state of divine grace. And that means nothing more than being responsible for yourself, your family, your people, your country, and the world. It means understanding that the World Bank built the road into the Amazon so that the people in Brazil who were poor would burn the forest 
so that you would scream for more control so that they can't burn the forest, then that control will be the new world order. Because no sovereign nation state can tell another sovereign nation state what to do. The answer is no more sovereign nation states. The answer is the new world order. Everything is screaming for control and everything has been engineered by these secret societies to bring about synthesis and, excuse me, thesis, antithesis, which will result in a clash causing you to scream for the solution that they wanted all along. Understand that when big giant corporations pollute the atmosphere and the land, it's done on purpose. Understand that. Understand that Detroit has had for many years the plan to make a very clean engine that would go along with. Understand that a hydrogen engine has been developed for many, many years, but is being withheld from the public because it doesn't pollute enough to ask you to demand for total control to save the world from pollution. Does everybody follow me? This is a spiritual thing, as I said the other night. This is a battle. It is a war. It is it's in its final stages. And whoever wins is going to be the victor for a long time. We're playing for high stakes, playing for your very soul. You're playing for the future of mankind. 